Cartier are arguably the world's most iconic and respected eyewear brand, despite being a brand that started off with nothing to do with eyewear. And to me, that makes it even more amazing that Cartier took all their knowledge and expertise from the world of jewellery and used that to make some of the most beautiful glasses and sunglasses ever created. We've done a few videos about Cartier on this channel so far, but it occurred to me that we'd never done a full video showing the entire eyewear collection. Well, that's what you're going to find today. I'm going to be showcasing all the different elements that make Cartier glasses what they are, and I'm going to be explaining how the different variations within the brand of Cartier exemplify different aspects of the brand's history. Hi, I'm Robert, Style and Vision Consultant here at the Spectacle Factory, and it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And for a lot of people, Cartier is the brand that they aspire to have. It's the brand that they dream of as their perfect pair of glasses. So what are the fundamental hallmarks of a pair of Cartier glasses? Well, in every single Cartier eyewear frame, you're going to find either genuine gold or genuine platinum. Nothing is painted, it's all plated with precious materials. And that means that the longevity of a Cartier frame is so much higher than the longevity of a normal eyeglass frame. Because normal metal frames are going to chip, the paintwork's going to peel away. Because the plating on Cartier frames is done to twice the industry standard for thickness, they retain their luminosity for years, if not decades, to come. Let's start with the oldest aspect of Cartier's heritage when it comes to eyewear. The most vintage pieces, the ones that you'll find that are dating back 40, 50 years now, are what are now known as the big C's. This is the vintage C de Cartier, and it has the iconic C of the House of Cartier emblazoned on each arm. These are the most unmistakably Cartier glasses you'll ever find. If you really want people to know that you're wearing Cartier, the big C's are the way to do it. Now, virtually everybody who buys these will customize the lens shape. And that's one of the awesome things about rimless glasses in general, but particularly with Cartier, is the element of customization. And we're gonna cover that as we go through this video. But with the big C's complemented with a slight tint on the lens and a larger lens size, these just look awesome. They are beautiful because of the real gold plating. And I love the way that everything here is just gold. You know, there's nothing else apart from the plastic end tips. The plastic end tips allow for greater adjustability, but if you can get a Cartier frame that doesn't have the plastic, I think that's always preferred. And I'm gonna be showing some a little bit later on that don't have the plastic end tips, and I'll explain why that's better. But here's an example of a vintage Cedar Cartier frame done with that larger lens size and with a sunglass tint, as well as faceting around the edge of the lens. And that just shows how versatile this frame is because you've got everything from the minimalistic look of this, or relatively minimalistic, to the very over the top look of this style. And this is actually probably our most popular Cartier style. This model in this shape with that tint, it looks amazing. But there is nowadays a more refined version of the Cedar Cartier line, and that is the modern Cedar Cartier frames. This one in platinum has, in my opinion, a more subtle C. It's almost like a buckle on the frame. You wouldn't necessarily instantly recognize it as the letter C, but for those who know, who are into their eyewear or are into Cartier, or both, they're going to recognize that instantly. In my opinion, this is such a more classy way of implementing a logo rather than just having the word Cartier written along the side, as most brands would do it. And I think that's one thing that really separates Cartier from other eyewear fashion brands because they're not having to shout about who they are. The beauty is in the item itself. This model also features genuine wood arms, and these are the most desirable frames that Cartier make. Either the wood or the buffalo horn. So you see this one in platinum with wood, and this pair in gold with horn. Both have an amazing feeling when you wear them. Compared to an everyday pair of glasses, and even compared to most Cartier frames, there's nothing quite like the wood and buffalo horn pieces. They feel just so smooth and elegant as they drift onto the face. It's almost an event putting your glasses on every day. And that's one thing that Cartier wearers love when it comes to these two pieces in particular, the wood and the horn. It is a luxury item, but you really get the feel and the effect of that luxury every moment that you wear these glasses. They feel as premium as they look. Again, a lot of customization is possible. That goes for any of the rimless pieces that I'm gonna to showcase today. But these ones tend to be more popular in this particular shape. 
They come in a couple of different sizes, but we'll always customize the size to the client, of course. It's really important with wooden buffalo horn because they're not adjustable. They must be made to measure. So if you're ordering one off the shelf, you are playing a very dangerous game because if the frame is slightly too wide or slightly too tight, there is nothing you can do about it once it's been made for you. So it's really important that your optician knows the width of your head and they can make the glasses to that exact width and make sure that they fit first time. But once they are molded to you, you cannot get a better feeling pair of glasses. You can get glasses which are lighter, but you can't get glasses that feel more premium than this, trust me. And that's one thing that people come back to when it comes to Cartier. You could try on a thousand other high-end luxury frames. Nothing is going to feel like a pair of wood or buffalo horn Cartier frames. And people often ask me which would be my choice between the two. It's a really difficult answer. Um, both are beautiful. The wood does give a little bit more grip because it has a bit more texture to it, whereas the buffalo horn is completely smooth. So for someone who doesn't want the glasses to move at all, I would probably air towards the wood. I know that's a functionality thing rather than an aesthetic. When it comes to aesthetics, that's very subjective. But for me, I'd probably lean towards the buffalo horn because what I love about buffalo horn is this patination. And you'll never ever get two the same because it's a natural material. The pattern of that will be unique to this frame, unique to the next frame, and so on. That makes it just that extra bit more special. But the wood is beautiful in its own way too. It's obviously more consistent in its patterning, but both are clearly beautiful, gorgeous natural materials. Now, whilst these are clearly the most beautiful examples of the modern Cedar Cartier frames, you can also get slightly more simplified versions. So you can get these Cedar Cartier frames with a slightly smaller C logo and a slightly thinner temple in various different colors. I love this deep red color. Obviously, that's the signature color for Cartier. And this is quite a nice, elegant, subtle ladies oval shape. The acetate piece is obviously far less expensive than the buffalo horn and wood pieces. So that's good. It helps keep the cost down if you're on more of a budget. But you also have acetate models as well. And this is actually one of my favorite acetate frames that Cartier make. I really like with this model how the seat is almost like a buckle that loops through, or in fact, the temple loops through the buckle of the seat. It's a really nice effect. It gives this frame a little bit of three-dimensionality from the side. And the cat's eye shape is a really trendy, really fashionable look as well. Again, in that deep Cartier red. To me, if you're going for color and you're not wanting just pure gold or platinum, the next best is the red, because it's just so Cartier. Moving on, let's focus on a slightly more obscure line from Cartier to break things up a little bit. And that is the Trinity de Cartier. So Trinity de Cartier is a feature of a lot of the jewelry that Cartier creates. And it's called the Trinity because it'll actually fuse three precious metals together, platinum, gold, and rose gold. The thing is that in the jewelry, those precious metals are solid. Whereas when it comes to the eyewear, they are plated. And apparently, I'm told that there is not a very consistent or a very healthy, I think, it, I think it's quite a toxic process for creating plated rose gold. And therefore, they leave the rose gold out of the Trinity when it comes to the eyewear. And when I heard that story, I was kind of sad because it does seem like a little bit of a compromise. But having said that, I do think that when it comes to the eyewear, is quite beautiful, there's that contrast between the gold and the platinum. The Trinity line, by the way, represents love. What you have is the, the knot which is formed between the two precious metals. That's what it's signifying, the two coming together, and that's why it has that role within the Cartier eyewear collection. There are acetate versions of these as well. Um, unfortunately, we're sold out of those right now, so I can't show you, but the rimless ones we have in both gold with a platinum detail, and platinum with the gold detail in this lovely cat's eye shape, which is obviously that little bit more feminine as well. Speaking of feminine, one of the traditionally feminine lines within Cartier, which has actually now come full circle and, and is worn by men and ladies equally, is the Panther de Cartier line. Panther de Cartier is probably my personal favorite section of the Cartier collection. I just love how adventurous it is. Like how often are you gonna see a panther actually inlaid into you, a pair of glasses? It's just not really done by anybody else. But I love how Cartier have done it. And I particularly love how this one has the full metal sides. Next to the buffalo horn and the wood, which obviously are in a league of their own, the 
full gold or full platinum frames from Cartier are the next best, in my opinion. I love how these feel. They feel really sleek, smooth and cold and cool. And again, they make an awesome sunglass as well. You can combine this with a tint for, to beautiful effect. You also have the option of black enamel to represent the panther spots, as I will show you on this semi-rimless pair. This one has the panther spots just in the corner. And it also has a gorgeous touch, which is the eyes of the panther have actually been done in an emerald green, which represents the panther's eyes, of course, which has a beautiful glow to it. And I love how the face of the panther wraps around the front of this frame. It's that little bit more eye-catching, that little bit more engaging for people who are going to see you in the glasses. And a hell of a lot of craftsmanship has gone into the making of this, you can tell. That's where Cartier really stand apart from the other eyewear brands. Other eyewear brands might come in nice shapes, they might come in nice colours, but you're just not going to see such amazing craftsmanship, such fantastic workmanship as this in almost any other eyewear brand, especially the big mainstream ones. Cartier truly artisan frames packaged in a huge brand, but that's why they have such a cult following because they behave almost like a small-scale eyewear brand despite their enormous heritage. Finally, within the Panther de Cartier line, we have this beautiful acetate example, which has the Panther pouncing down the length of the arm. How amazing is that? It's almost like it's floating in midair. I love that frame, and this is actually brand new in. It's one of the showpieces of the Cartier collection. We also have beveling along the top of the frame, which catches the light beautifully. They're just a stunning piece of eyewear, a real work of art. When it comes to sunglasses, though, my favourite eyewear line within Cartier is the Santos de Cartier. I'm a huge fan of Cartier watches and one of the most iconic, arguably the most iconic Cartier watch is the Santos de Cartier, which features exposed screws along the design. It's a very industrial design. And that's carried through into the eyewear. Now there are full frame, semi frame and rimless versions of the Santos de Cartier. Again, we're sold out of those at the moment, but this is the one that I would probably have within the Santos line. I love the contrast between the gold plating and the platinum inlay around the lens rim, as well as the green lens tint with the anti-reflective coating on the back. It makes for a really clear pair of sunglasses. By clear, I mean extremely high contrast, very relaxed vision, very sharp vision. We see the exposed screws along the bridge and on the lugs here, where actually it's been done contrasted against a brushed finish, which you do see in the Cartier watches as well. That brushed gold finish is actually more difficult to achieve. It takes extra levels of workmanship and extra processes to achieve. And by the way, Santos de Cartier comes from Santos Dumont, who was the world's first aviation pilot. He wore, well, he actually had an, a watch designed for him by Louis Cartier, who created the world's first wristwatch for his use because when he was controlling his plane, he didn't have time to take out a pocket watch. And therefore, having it on his wrist was a lot easier for him. He asked Louis Cartier to design it for him. He created the world's first wristwatch, and Santos de Cartier was born. And finally, the most modern line within the Cartier eyewear collection are the premier de Cartier pieces, of which I've got four to show you today. Where to start? Well, we talked about precious materials earlier. This is another wood piece but with much more intricate gold detailing along the front and along the bridge. The hallmark of the Premier de Cartier frames are these ridges, which are finished within the temples and the bridge. It just gives the frames a more prominent feel and a more prominent look, of course, a more dominant style on the face. And for people who want to make slightly more of a statement with their eyewear, I think this achieves that. I have to say that this particular shade of wood, again, in that deep red Cartier color, is to die for. I absolutely love how this looks. I love how it's finished. It's very, very highly polished and just a beautiful sculpture of a frame. This next one is a titanium piece. So these are ultra lightweight. These are a lot more effortless to wear because they weigh almost nothing. We have titanium nose pads, which is quite rare within the eyewear collection. And I really like how the platinum color of this frame contrasts against the lens rim. It silhouettes the eyes really nicely. And to round off the video, these next two pieces feature a tint that I would encourage almost anyone to get in any Cartier frame, but these have it as standard. So this model, obviously an aviator style, very bold, very 80s, 
are very cool, has what we call blue and beyond technology. That means that these glasses will go from the tint that you see now, which has a slight blue reflection to it. That's designed to reflect away glare from computer screens. They'll go from this to a full sunglass tint when exposed to UV outdoors. So these are really a great two-in-one pair that you can wear all day long. When you're on the computer, they're going to rest your eyes. And when you're outside in the sun, they're going to be a beautiful, amazing pair of sunglasses. To me, that's something that you should consider on any pair of Cartier that you order because it really gives your glasses a lot more functionality, a lot more versatility, and it really allows you to make the most of such a beautiful piece of eyewear. So this last one is the Acetate Premier de Cartier frame. It's very bold, it's very boxy. It's probably a little bit more masculine as well. And I really like how on this pair in particular, I don't think this is true on any of the others, you actually have a combination of gold and platinum along those three ridges. So the central ridge is finished in platinum rather than gold. They really didn't need to do that. That's just a perfect example of the attention to detail that you find within Cartier's eyewear collection. Almost no other brand would do something like that. I mean, it's not necessary. No one would even notice. But when you look closely, you see that beautiful touch. It contrasts the three ridges really nicely and finished off with that small C at the end. Premier de Cartier, you can see why they named it that. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video and this tour of the Cartier eyewear collection. I've showed pieces from every single line that Cartier make, hopefully giving you some inspiration and some examples to take away and think about which one might be for you. Of course, I couldn't show every single model that Cartier make because there are literally hundreds and especially when you consider the different colorways, that would just be impossible. But over the next months, maybe next years, I will be showcasing every single style that Cartier make, probably. So if that is for you, subscribe to this channel. If you enjoyed this particular video, give us a like, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.